Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to try a new beer from Transient Artisan Ales. Uh, this is called No Third Eye. Triple Dry Hop Double India Pale Ale 10% ABV. New Image Brewing is what's on here. Um, I don't know if that's been on the other ones, but uh, the artwork looks like the rest, so it probably has. Uh, there is no date on this can. I did pick this up at Hoffman Street Grocery. Uh, not sure how much it was. Let's go ahead and open it, get it into a glass, see what we think. Um, triple dry hopped. Uh, I'm not saying that's new, but from recent beers, I cannot think of another beer that's been triple dry hopped or at least called out. Uh, my guess is they're doing it at high crozen, usually three days into fermentation. Then maybe once fermentation dies out, they're doing it. Then right before they're kegging it, they're doing it is, is my guess. Uh, we'll check on tap just to see if we can uh, find out what hops are used in this after we taste it. But it almost makes sense to triple dry hop a double hop IPA. You're going to get more malt out of that and to cover it up, obviously you're going to have to use more malt or more hops. Now maybe regular ones just use a bigger dose of hops in the secondary or something um, and that would cover it up. But let's go ahead. Uh, no head, not sure why. Um, I didn't roll it or anything. We'll get the rust out of there after we smell and taste it. Uh, white bubbles from what I do see. Color, orange juice and color. Uh, can't see through it at all. I do see a couple bubbles coming up, but that is about it. Let's go ahead and smell. A little bit, it almost smells like a, like very freshly squeezed pulp of orange. Um, you do get some of that fruitiness, but that orange citrus pulpiness is what I get the most of. There is a fair amount of sweetness. It almost smells like lacto lactose. It's not coming across as a vanilla, but it just smells like uh, to up the EBV, they might have used lactose. I don't know if they did. We'll have to taste it and see what we get. But yeah, that, that big, it's a very big orange citrus with some fruit in the back. Let's go ahead and taste it. Very, very juicy. It's like there's a citrus bitterness right up front. And then after that, it's all like juicy citrus like if you took a whole bunch of tropical fruit and squeezed it and drank it that's pretty much what this is there's a little hot bite on the back um it, it's almost like it's over dry hopped you get that hoppy taste that's kind of what you get in the back um, aftertaste, I do get a lot of sweet malt, um, and that would be from using more grain in the brew to drive up the ABV. Yeah, like it's a mango, pineapple, sweetness, tropical fruit. Uh, I'm trying to pick out... I almost want to say it does taste like lactose, but in a 10% beer, you're going to get a lot more sweetness. So it could still be from, from the grains they're using. It's very crushable. Let's go ahead and pour the rest of this in here. Should give us a little bit of a head. There we go. Yeah, now we got an off-white, almost um, orange-colored head in there. Yeah, taste is the same. You get that that bite of that orange, like an orange rind, um, right up front with some citrus, and then that pineapple mango sweetness fruit just takes over the whole entire thing. 
And then, yeah, sweet malt in the back of it. Let's check untapped to see if they show what kind of hops they use. Um, no. Nope. Um, on this one, I would probably have to go with a 4.5 out of 5. Definitely a solid beer. Um, what would I do different? I would take that sweet malt out of the back. I think maybe using lactose in this might help it. Excuse me. Um, if you're not a big multi person, I think you'll still enjoy it. But it is sitting there. It lingers in the aftertaste. So if you like this video, check some more videos out over here. And until next time, happy brewing.